While state lawmakers are looking at ways to bolster manufacturing via the growing natural gas industry in West Virginia, U.S. Senator Jay Rockefeller convened a Senate Commerce Committee hearing Monday morning to talk about ways of increasing small business manufacturing by getting West Virginia goods to the global marketplace. The hearing took place at the Robert C. Byrd Federal Courthouse in downtown Charleston, West Virginia, and is the first time the Senate Commerce Committee, chaired by Rockefeller, has met in West Virginia. Rockefeller was joined by staff members for Senators Kay Bailey Hutchinson of Texas and Roy Blunt of Arkansas, both members of the Commerce Committee. What I'm focusing on this morning primarily is manufactured goods, manufactured ink, not what you take out of the ground, which is a natural resource, but uh, products. I mean, I've had round tables all around West Virginia, glass industry, up in uh, Newell, West Virginia, very top of West Virginia, Homer and Laughlin, they produce unbelievably good uh, plates, uh, dinnerware, people buy them from all over the world. Uh, they're highly roboticized. I've been down to Bluefield uh, State University, which, uh, and to look at their robotics program. I've met in Parkersburg with the people in, natu- in, in glass. Glass manufacturing is a huge industry in West Virginia and it's really fallen on hard times. And, uh, and I, you know, it's just a symbolic of the people who are feeling the pressure. And some of them are having to go out of business and they don't want to go out of business. You know, this is, you're talking about three or four generations of a family. Um, so we have to give them, we have to, we have to all start working together. And let's not worry about who gets credit for what. Let's just start working together Our focus is on manufacturing, and uh, we can do this. It'll take time. Officials with state and federal agencies, as well as unions, testified about the need to increase exports, encourage job growth, and train workers. According to testimony, West Virginia companies exported products to 132 countries in 2010, with small businesses making up 27% of all exports. Exports reached $6.4 billion in 2010, growing by 33% over the year before, doubling since 2006. But the state has seen a decrease in manufacturing jobs, dropping from 79,000 in 2000 to 56,000 in 2008, and dropping by 11% between 2008 and 2009. Nationally, over 2.9 million manufacturing jobs have been lost over the last decade, with 2.4 million jobs increasing overseas. Our company as workers must have access to programs that will help us out-innovate the competition to win the future. We must install programs that help American workers constructively engage in international markets. Companies win by exporting higher value manufactured goods that the world's consumers need, and by leading the development of new industries. I admit I still have my personal goal. I want to keep my daughter at home. I want to ensure that she has the opportunity to find a great job so that she can live and prosper in this great state. But that takes teamwork. Government, business, labor, the education community have been working extremely hard to diversify our base. However, please understand, that we have a strong commitment to manufacturing. Even in our targeted sector strategies, manufacturing is integral to what we do. Some of my peers in other states have written off manufacturing. We're not willing to do that. It's never been a part of our strategy. It won't be a part of our strategy. We know how important it is to our history and definitely to our future. In the past 12 years, I've had the painful displeasure of watching over 5,000, mind you, that had nothing to do with the steel industry. Over 5,000 USW represented family supported manufacturing jobs disappear in West Virginia. Keep in mind, these employees did not lose the means to support their families because of outdated facilities or inefficient procedures, chemical plants, or steel processes. These employment opportunities have left my state primarily because of unfettered trade, free trade, and ineffective policies to address what should be the top priority of everyone in this room today. A forward-thinking approach to supporting those jobs that remain. As far as exporting goes, it's important that we look at why exporting needs address besides being a good market at the moment. It's really simple, two words, global economy. Our world is no longer an independent economy that's unaffected by the rest of the world. Today, with our ever-shrinking world, thanks to computers, cell phones, 
jet aircraft, or the internet, we live in a global economy. Our economy is impacted not only by us, but by what happens on the other side of the world, and vice versa. So this means that the world now impacts how we feed our families, our jobs, and our markets, just to name a few areas. The panelists believe that increasing small business exports will fuel a resurgence in manufacturing jobs. According to Workforce West Virginia, the goods producing sector played a role in the drop in state unemployment, from 9.6% in January to 8.6% in May. The national unemployment rate is 9.1%. This is Stephen Allen Adams reporting for West Virginia Watchdog.